Coach Joe Lipa. Let's see what kind of adjustments he will make. After the halftime discussion, it is a 56-48 count. Boom Gonzalez, the professor, Andy Sundala. And of course, Leah Cruz reporting for Ateneo. Gretchen Felido for the UP Maroons. We are at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium, live over Studio 23, ABS-CBN Sports presentation. Watching us live and uh, watching us all over the world, also on TFC. And uh, there's a little clarification. I think Coach Joe Lipa now telling his boys to go on the floor right now. You know, another sideline. Remember, Coach Joe Lipa, the last time he coached in the UAB, was coaching for Ateneo. That was in 2001. And Yuri Escueta, he brought the team to the finals, of course. Yuri Escueta starting again for us for Ateneo with Escalona, JC Intal, Doug Kramer, and Raba Al Husaini. And that's the same starting five for Ateneo. For UP, it's a little bit different. Verhili Serios with Mix de Asis, Martin Reyes now starting together. Nestor David and Marvin Cruz playing on borrowed time. So that, that's a big thing here, but a good stop to start the third period for the Fighting Maroons. They were able to use the corner to trap uh, JC Intal. The pace has been frantic for both teams. I somehow anticipated Ateneo to really slow it down and take advantage of their size. But I like what they did, that if they had the opportunity to run, they ran mm -hmm. and they finished. And the big men were running with them. Exactly. That, that's just a big thing for, uh, for Ateneo. Kramer and uh, Husseini. The Asis over Al Husseini. Sorry, that was Serios. Check that. Intal goes to his left, wanting to set up Maki Escalona. But again, even with the turnover, you can't blame Ateneo because they have been rotating mm -hmm. the ball well in the first half. Nestor David bringing the ball down. They give it to Marvin Cruz against Escueta. Cruz. Pass taken away by Escalona. Look at him streak to the other <laughs> side. <laughs> and Dianis couldn't give him a good chase Wala, at no? all. Napaho yung paa, no? May biglang bugso eh. Nestor asking for the ball against Doug Kramer. The cut underneath the two veterans Marvin. playing Ooh. so well together. So well, that's gonna keep UP in this ball game. David and Cruz, they have to stay in the game and focus and look for some other support for them to be able to sign me this Ateneo squad. Yuri thought about it, goes deeper, and then they kick it out. Escalona, oh, able to get it up and in. He's got all the points of Ateneo here in the third period, so again, looking for other options. This time, it's not Escalona passing, but it's the recipient of passes for the two, uh, two points. Oh, look at the defense of Escalona and De Asis. De Asis forces it, but no go. De Asis says, I don't care. I will put it up and in. You know, he's a gunner from the looks of him. Oh, no. He's the gunner. Kitang kita mo. And he doesn't, he's not just a set shooter. He can take it off the dribble and off the curl. Oh. Offensive young. Yes, the sweeping motion of Maki Escalona rushing Marvin Cruz aside. That's uh, somehow what they also call the chicken wing motion. Oh. Is that number four on Mackie? That's four personals on Mackie Escalona, who stars in our Canon Power Shot fast break. Our apologies, we were focused so much on the foul trouble of UP that we forgot about the foul problems of uh, Mackie Escalona. Marvin Cruz babied that shot. Uh -oh. Intal high, doesn't force it. Kicks it out. Husseini sails into the hole. And they could just watch it. Oh, you'll be fighting Maroons. Yes. Not enough size, yes. not enough height to cover. Well, you know, Maki Escalona sitting down right now with four personal fouls. Must make one thing bench, but the things, uh, must make one thing rotation. Sila sa guardia itong Ateneo compared to UP Maroons. Huh? And Coach Norman Black has used a lot of guards in this game, so it's not really entirely on Maki Escalona's hands. At hindi magugulat huh? yung mga katulad nila salamat, nila Chris Chu, they, dahil medyo nababad sila mm -hmm. ng uh, ating uh, first half. In the meantime, Mix Diasis bumping Chris Chu. Oh, something going on really oh, between pa. Chris Chu kanina and Mix Diasis. You know? mm -hmm. They've been talking to each other. Kanina pa, oh. It's a game of one-upmanship. The rookie against Chris Chu took a break. 
In season 68, there's the <laughs> arm given by the Asis and Chris Chu. <laughs> Parang uh, siya pa yung ano eh. Well, Welcome to it. the UAP, you know? <laughs> For Mix the Asis. Kala ko sabihin mo, parang siya pa galit eh. <laughs> Oops! That's an offensive foul. Esqueta forcing the issue. Coach Norman Black staring down the referee. Second personal foul on Yuri Esqueta. Well, of course, you know what Ateneo fans were hoping. Oh, it's going to be number four recruits. It's going to be number four. Oh, but it's on Esqueta. There you go. He gave him space. Mm -hmm. Marvin gave Yuri space. But Yuri just forced him. Martin Reyes throws up the three. Rips out. David with the offensive rebound. Wants to take on Doug Kramer, the assist. Napabagsak ng bagya si Chris Chu and he smiles at Chris Chu because he has knocked down his third triple of the ball game. Ten points for the rookie who is playing like a veteran. Wow, his disposition is just remarkable. Indom throws it up, nothing there. The ball ending up with Yuri Escueta. Foul is called on a maroon and uh -oh. it's on David. Oh, that means he's gonna sit down because it's gonna be number four. He cannot be. He cannot be there. Coach Jolipan just knew what happened. Well, let's go to Gretchen Polito right now. The main reason why the UB Fighting Maroons were playing erratically in the first half was because they were not playing as a team. Now, Coach Jolipan stressed that will not happen this time. We need to play United and S1. Now, he stressed winning this ball game, the secret to this ball game is we have to keep boxing out. Although the Blue Eagles have done a good job in Scouting the Maroons' tendencies, he stressed UP was committing a lot of errors and turnovers earlier, which is why they are lagging a few points behind. We have to catch up, he stressed. UP's big man, Serios and David, were instructed to deny getting Adeneo getting rebounds, and Marvin and the rookies, the Ashes and Reyes, should just keep taking it hard to the basket. Boom, back to you. Problem is, Gretchen, it is Ateneo doing that, mm -hmm. taking it hard to the basket. Now that David is impotent on defense, and he's taken out Kramer, who has been making a living underneath six out of seven within that five foot radius and now a three point play taking advantage of that gaping hole for UP. Well, no David, uh, they're all licensed now to go in and uh, Doc Kramer has made a living just waiting inside, doing some nice cuts, 16 points for 16 Doc Kramer. points. Five out of six in the first half. Very high percentage shooting clip for Kramer. Serios putting it on the floor. Oh boy, what a he, sweeping move. So he has that speed over Martin Kimson. Yo, and he no. took it, he took it well. Intal was wild, he didn't know what to do. Marvin Cruz, shaking, trying to draw the foul. Reyes puts it up and in. And a foul is called as bodies are sprawled on the floor. One maroon and one eagle. They're trying to control this situation. Remember there was a near fisticuff earlier between Kramer and Ira Buiko. The shot will go by Martin Reyes. The foul will go against UP, I believe. Here's a play after. Uh, here's a shot first of Martin Reyes. But look at Serios. Oh. Serios in the Escueta. <laughs> <laughs> well, they enjoyed that shot from UP. Four personal fouls called now on Virgili Serios as he pretty much wiped out Yuri Escueta from our TV screens. That is the score. It is a four-point lead for the Blue Eagles. We'll be back in a moment. Well, the Ateneo hopefuls and faithfuls here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. And this is the UP side of things uh, behind myself and uh, Randy. Ito naman, under the goal ito. Itong mga... I don't know if they're kids from UP or from their De La Salle Zubel. Dahil kanina, they were holding their posters for Martin Reyes and Mix De Asis. Regardless, they are cheering for UP. And you know, the UAP is for everybody. It's not only for <laughs> students who belong to the UAP schools. We have a lot of casual fans watching us on Studio 23. And here at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. Chris Chu thought about it. Goes to his left. Sets up Escueta for the three. Gets it to go! Oh, in the face of Nick Stiasis. So he has gotten the confidence in this ball game. Uh, Ooh, nah, eight points for uh, Yuri Espeta. That's a long two, my apologies. Mix off the cut, nothing there. Willie Coy is in the ballgame. Three rookies make that four rookies for UP. And the lone veteran Marvin Cruz, Kacha, is clobbered underneath. That's the right idea, Boom. He knows he's going to be blocked, but 
he was able to suspend himself in midair for just a few seconds and the foul was given by Ateneo. And they are clinging on to a six point lead as we head over to Leah Cruz. Thank you, Boom, to give you an idea of what Coach Sherman Black has been telling his boys. Here are some pointers he made in the dugout during halftime. Good offense, but continue working on defense. Push the ball up the floor, control the boards, recognize UP's shooters in transition, more ball move movement, and find the open man. Back to you, Boom. Thank you very much. Leah Cruz, a report from the Ateneo side of things. Galen Kacha, zero out of four from the 15th barrel of line. Five minutes to play in the third quarter on this Sunday main event between Ateneo and UB. Escueta thought about it once again, finding Kramer underneath. Too deep. Too you know, Migulag talaga yung Deasis, ha? And uh -huh. I'm not saying this in a negative way. He seems to not care about the atmosphere, not care if he's a rookie. He pushed Doug Kramer a bit, just not enough for a foul, just a bit to get him out of position to force that, that turnover. And now, here comes another three. Oh, make that the two for Marvin Cruz with 18 points, Randy. Really keeping it close. What a quarter we've seen. Chris Shue off on that look, attempt. Look at the assist. Get that possession of the three big guys of the day. Cruz trying to find a way. Martin Reyes cocks it. Pulls up. Nothing there. The push and the... Rebound and the pass. What a pass by Marvin uh -huh. Cruz to Woody Cole. Yep. Making things happen now. And gets the sign of approval <laughs> from Joe Lipa. The thumbs up. Great pass. Great look. There was the point that you were saying, Boom, about Marvin Cruz in the first half. Here in the second half, could have taken the shot. But look for Woody Cole to one, get them guys more involved. In one motion. One hand and babaan. The, situ ah, the situation would not be open anymore for Woody Cole. Yes, and Woody Cole, the rookie, with his first point, makes the asses here playing like he has been playing for four years here in the UAV. The first guy to score for the Maroons for season 69 of the UAP. And look where UP is at right now. A two-point deficit for the Maroons. 67-65, the biggest lead of the game was 10 for Ateneo. Now we'll see how Ateneo will respond, Randy. Now I think they're missing Maki Escalona because of the fouls that he has collected the fourth here in the third. Excellent point. Oh, another bad pass by Intal. Marvin on Jai Reyes. You know, Marvin knows what to do in a situation like that. He was not going to go out of that situation empty-handed. Yep. And Jai Reyes was called from the bench at the time, attacking Marvin Cruz. But remember, Lesser David has four fouls. So this young crew, very young crew of Coach Jolipa with Marvin Cruz at the helm. A warning is called on Coach on the bench of the UP Maroons as Eric Salamat makes his reappearance here in this ball game. We are at the 345 mark of the third quarter as Marvin Cruz, who knocked down 12 out of 14 free throws in his first stint against USD, back on the line. Turnovers now. At the half earlier, you mentioned, Randy, pinakita mo ilan yung turnover na Ateneo at saka UP? Uh, <laughs> you got me there. Apat para four, sa Ateneo. Four and eight. Uh, and well, no. Ateneo has capitalized on the eight turnovers. But the situation dito has Ateneo. changed. Ateneo has collected seven, resulting in seven fast break points for UP here in the third. And Ateneo taking care of the ball with only two turnovers in this third quarter. That has been the difference. And again, going back to the point, they're missing Maki Escolano for Ateneo. And now they have not been able to set up Doug Kramer for the easy buckets. And UP is poised to take the lead on this possession. And Marvin, obviously, fishing. Was, yes. He was fishing. You know, he was just uh, pushing it to Chris Chu. And Chris Chu was on position to make a good de uh, deflection on that shot. Marvin. Again, I have not seen Marvin Cruz this confident ever here, whether it's the UAP or the Philippine Basketball League. He has the chance to snatch the lead when we come back.
Welcome back here at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium, our Jack and Jill fantastic moment. And look at them rising as one for that shot. I believe a UP basket. Jack and Jill fantastic moment. Life's fun. It's so fun for UP. At the 7.42 mark, Randy, check this. At the 7.42 mark, they lost Mackie Escalona, talking about Ateneo. 16 to 7 run since Mackie Escalona sat down. Well, that's really a difference in favor of UP. Just, that's just to highlight the point that you were making earlier yep. about the absence now of the steadiness of Mackie Escalona. Oh, but Marvin Cruz has missed already two free throws. Actually, that's his third. That's his third. But the, but the point here is Ateneo needs to an answer to Marvin Cruz, who's getting control, taking control offensively and even defensively of the game for UP. He is five out of eight, 17 minutes of action, 19 points, two assists, two steals, and drawing a lot of fouls this time from Ateneo. Ateneo, 17 fouls already in the third quarter. Ateneo and UP are now tied at 67. Chai will try for three. That's short, that's sharp. And Katcha will take care of the repossession. Well, you gotta hand it to this young uh, Galen oh, yeah. Katcha. Holding his own against the bigger uh, Mian. Harvard setting up the assist for the long three. Look, look at Katcha. Woo. Keeping the ball alive. An extra possession guy for the Maroons. Marvin Travel. Again, that move of uh, Marvin Cruz. Lone opportunity. They could have taken the lead. You know, Coach Norman Black sensing that Katcha is getting a bulk of the rebound sense in his own utility man in Zion Later, who also bothered so many shots and took down a lot of caroms earlier. But who do you go on offense without JC and Talbert now in that lineup, Randy? Well, that's going to be really a, a query for them. Who's their number one guy? They have to make a situation for their offense, move the ball well, and see if they can get to the open man and to the big guys, particularly Husseini. Zion will try a three. That's short. Salamat could not handle the possession. That was what was given to them by UP. Vicmel Epres. Back to Martin Reyes. Would he call for the three? That's way short. And a foul called on Galen Katcha, pushing Eric Salamat from behind. His second personal foul, the rookie. is being cheered upon by the UP Maroons. Yeah, problem with the foul. It's a penalty situation no. foul. And that's gonna give opportunities for Ateneo to get to the driver's seat, get some confidence to Eric Salamat. We're still waiting for Coach Norman Black make that necessary adjustment, not only in terms of the players, Randy, but in terms of what to do on the floor now that JC and Tal is not there, Doug Kramer is not there, because they're just sitting down, just because they're resting, and then Maki Escalona with four personal fouls. So this holdover group is critical for Ateneo. Will they be able to stem the tie? Well, Salamat, two free throws, eight points off the bench for this Rookie for the Blue Eagles. Martin Reyes puts it up. Martin has been off, but Katcha again with his fifth rebound of the game. Would he go inside? He yes, it up and in. You know, he used his body well to get some space between him and Husseini. And we are again knotted at 69, our sixth deadlock of the ball game, and a foul called on Vicmel Lepres. That's a bad one because there's a penalty. Two free throws for Eric Salamat. Gotta use your head, boy. And Coach Jolie Pais disgusted along the sideline. Let's look at this Woody Cole move. Look at him create space for himself against two long players for Ateneo. So you would think that he's a slow foot guy, but he can make some separation. Loving the atmosphere here at the Nino Aquino Stadium. And for those of you watching us over Studio 23, thank you very much for tuning in as Doug Kramer sits on the bench. Eric Salamat, steady hand, five out of five from that 15th parallel line. Make that six out of six now, and this is the reason why they uh, are at least keeping a little distance between them and the Maroons. Again, three throws, the three throws given them. 
dami kanina ng first half. 23 out of 29. Salamat, two steps ahead of Martin Reyes. And Salamat has provided the spark here. You know, you ask me, who's gonna be the guy? This guy, Eric Salamat, has turned in six points in one stretch here in the third and has kept Atene above quarters. Parang hindi takot din, ano? Parang si De Asis din. Yes. Sa maglangi, hindi natatakot to, to take the shot, to get the ball. And now Ateneo forcing the three-second infraction on UP. Let's look at this cannon power shot, fast break. Eric Salama taking it away from the other rookie. And then going on to score his 12th point. Guess what? Six here in the third quarter and kicking up that lead to four once again. 73-69 and keep their heads above water. Let's see how this play develops for Ateneo. Chai is trying to pop out. Medium range jumper for Chai. Up the back iron. Reyes finds Marvin Cruz. Mikmel Epres. Woody Ko. Yes! You know, I think the rookies just wanted a ball at this time. Boom. I love it. I love the way the kids are just showing their heart on both teams, Randy. Mm -hmm. Salamat giving it up. Then on the shot clock. And a oh. foul by Woody Cole could not stay laterally with Jai Reyes. And again, the penalty situation killing the opportunity for UB. Look at this one. A confident stroke from Woodward Cole. And Woody Cole, six points, three rebounds, and the delight from the fans of UP. Jai Reyes on the line for his two gift shots. He needs that basket. He needs the basket as you look at uh, Al Husseini. So no, I, I mean, you got to give it to Coach Norman Black. You <laughs> deal with it on your own. This, <laughs> this holdover uh, crew, as you coined it, no Al Husseini, no Kramer, no Maki Escalona. And he's dealing with now Chris Chu, Escueta, Salamat, Later, and Ford Arrow. What confidence, Randy. Another response. The coach gives you that, that uh, opportunity. Reyes will not pump fake. And Martin Reyes. I don't think he's made anything from the three-point country. The only basket of Martin Reyes is just a short staff. He has missed everything today. 75-71, but UP will take free throws. Oh, the guys, the pressure cooker. Galen Kacha has not made a free throw, if I'm not mistaken. And Reyes has not made a field goal. Zero out of six. And Kacha, you know, feeling that pressure. Uh -huh. It's probably the most difficult shot in the world for him today. But Nobody you, in front of you. But you can't take away the effort of uh -huh. this guy. This guy has played his heart out against the lengthier, taller uh, front men of uh, Ateneo. Zero out of six for Galen Kacha. Chris Chu now quarterbacking for the white shirts. 14 on the shot clock. Chris Chu still with possession. Yuri Escueta is denied. Ford Aro kicks it out. Zion Leper! Wow, Ateneo in this third quarter was definitely threatened, That's Randy. The yes. But they pull together. And now they're in the lead again by six at 77-71. Without Maki Escalona, who committed his fourth personal foul at the 742 mark of this third quarter. So you'd be unable to capitalize on the absence of Maki. When they had their chance at 69, two free throws were given to uh, uh, Marvin Cruz. They weren't able to get the lead, and Ateneo just took the opportunity as their chance to post their lead at 77-7 at the end of the third. Fourth quarter will be brought to you when we come back here at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, the pep squads of both the UP Maroons and the Blue Eagles banging away as we look at Mr. Uh, Palu, of course, Vicky Palu and uh, Commissioner June Bernardino. Uh, one from Ateneo, oh, one from uh, representative for both. Yeah, Commissioner Bernardino of the NCAA. And Coach Jolie Pa, who was once Commissioner of the UAAP. UAP. But actually two times. Two times. Yeah. 
after after his coaching stint with Ateneo. Yan yung sinasabi ko, ang mga tao po dito sa Ninoy Aquino Stadium, very animated, a great weekend crowd, a boisterous crowd oh. joining us here as okay. UP right, commits sir. a turnover to kick off the fourth quarter. Again, the pressure of Escueta putting on the recipient of the pass and using the midcourt line as a barrier. Nestor David is back in the ball game, right? And he's playing with four personals. Maggie Escalona still not there as we see the Maroons scoring 23 to 21 for Ateneo. In the third, Chris Chu hits nothing on the first Ateneo attempt. You know, Cruz and the artists are sitting on the bench for Coach Joe Lipa. Could be critical. And still, the holdover guys are there for, for Ateneo. No sign of uh, JC Intal, Maggie Escalona, and Doc Kramer. You gotta love the trust by Coach Norman Black. Serios, nowhere to go. Later again was there to bother the shot. Later again was there for Nestor David. And Escueta threading the needle. Ford Otto sends it out. Chris Chu swinging it over to Eric Salamat. And it goes into traffic. Just could not finish. Yep. I, I, I am looking at Later flying all over this place. What hops for Zion Later? Talk about role players, he and Martin Kimson providing the next factor for Coach Norman. And this guy could not jump as well in season 68 because he was, uh, uh, he had an ankle injury in that uh, season. Now he's 100% healthy. And Martin Reyes, how many traveling infractions <laughs> have we called here in this ball game for UP? Well, tough day at the office, you know. He hasn't really learned that, uh, that fake to throw off the defender. Without committing a traveling error after the fake. 77-71, score has not moved. Under nine to play, Christian will try again, and this time it doesn't trickle in. Zion Laterre keeping the ball alive. Tapping it away from Nestor David. The air resets. Salamat going to Ford Otto. Salamat underneath again. Laterre trying to put it back. Just could not fall in. David trying to dribble and commit. Oh, oh, oh. His fifth personal foul. Again, the defensive stance boom put up by Ateneo. Foul on number 15, Inviting Nestor that David. offensive foul of Nestor David. What did I tell Nestor you about David this Eric Salamat guy? Foul. Eric Salamat is showing what Mitch Diaz is showing for UP. Very he looks, composed. Oh, you talaga. Parang. Look at him. Making sure in front of the referee that uh, it was a strong bump. He, he's looking like he knows what he's doing on the floor, just like the asses. Very composed. And a big fish that he caught. Oh, okay. Mr. Yeah, David told, him, told you guys about, you know, Mr. Sort David of needing to keep himself in check in terms of fouls, and you now get to go the without office. him the rest of the way. And that's the risk that you take. You put in a guy like that that makes the asses now, makes his way back. Onto the floor, and that's why Coach Norman Black didn't put in Maki Escalona Muna, no? A good ploy, sowing dividends. Intal, though, is back in the ballgame against Mix. Intal out to Salamat, throws up the three off the glass. Sion again is there. The X Factor into play for Ateneo. Five rebounds, all offensive. Four of them, rather, are offensive, Randy. Seven points. And how many shots has Zion Later changed in this ballgame? You know, I think it's time for Yuki to put in a Marvin. Oh, what a pass! What a pass by Yuri Escueta! To the former Sun Veda Red Cup Ford Arau. I'm just wondering why Marvin pushes his foot on the floor. Ateneo is threatening again to blow this game wide open. 81 71 is the score. Ford Arau commits his second personal foul. What about Yuri Escueta threading the needle with this one? In traffic, what a tough pass. And Arau just scooping it up and in. And that is our cannon power shot fast break. So many guys stepping up for Ateneo. Yuri Escueta, Eric Salamat, Sain Latere. 81-71. It has been a team. Ball game for Ateneo all throughout so far. And speaking of which, let's go to Leah Cruz, also part of that Ateneo team. Leah?
Thank you, Boom. Coach Schoenberg is definitely egging his boys on to make it good this fourth quarter. Some reminders that he told the Blue Eagles, make good passes. Be sure to pass to the open man. Watch your fouls against the UP Maroons and don't give them any easy shots, Boom. Thank you very much, Leah. They're trying to hold on, but you can't play not to uh, lose in a situation like this with 7.27 to play. That's just a 10-point lead. And you got Marvin Cruz back in the ballgame for UP. Yep. Yeah. Diaz is missing a long one. The challenge from JC and Tal, 19 assists. That's what we're talking about. Making a difference. Grabe. Here comes Salamat. Back to Aro from 16 feet. Rattles out. And again, Zion Lothair with his fifth offensive rebound. You know, the energy that he just put up, the hand. And it's kept them all alive. And Randy, it's how he's taking those rebounds. You see him float in the air. Missing the three ball, though. As Kacha, the other guy who's done an impeccable job off the boards for UP. is also in the ball game. Cruz attacks Escueta. The fake loses the ball and Salamat picks up the recovery. Salamat twirling. Salamat against Marvin Look Cruz. At that. Behind the back dribble. Salamat with the fake, but he could not finish. JC and Tal drawing the foul in the bucket. What a play for Eric Salamat. You know, you just have to keep in step with him. And he thought just waited perfectly for that missed shot of Eric Salama. But look at how he was able to definitely... The spin cycle move on this one. But look at this. I don't the, know if the chance behind, behind the, the back. back. Yes. And then the ball fake to Intal just could not get the English up. But Intal cleaning the garbage right now and giving them a 12-point lead, a possible three-point play opportunity when we come back after this short break. Go for hot hoop action at the UAAP Games with Petron Extra Unleaded. Go for the extra miles. Welcome back to more of Season 69 of the UAAP. On Thursday, we head back here at the Nino Aquino Stadium for this game between USD, the kids of USD, against FBU. Ateneo comes back against Adamson, who won today against NU. That's on Thursday, our Thursday showcase for the continuing coverage for season 69 of the UAAP. Boom Gonzalez, Randy Sakdalan for you. We are glad to have you with us. We are on hand here as Ateneo trying to put some more distance between them and the Maroons. Now, it is a 13 point lead. Partner, Marvin Cruz been taken out by coach Jolie Pa. Oh. Leaving the point guard chores to Big Mel and Press and the rest of the young kids for the UP fighting Maroons. I think that's a, you know, there must be a reason somewhere, but at this juncture, they're down by 13, leaving the work to these fellows. A lot of rookies on the floor. That's Kacha, De Asis, and Serios. Hey, there's a lot of time boom, 6 and 13. I don't know if it's a, uh, it's a choice of, you know, pulling back Marvin Cruz. We have no more Nestor David in the case of UP. Uh, Ira Buiko has not seen a, a lot of uh, minutes after that Doug Kramer after that Doug Kramer uh, incident in the first half. So, Doug Kramer has not even come back also for Ateneo because Ateneo has been playing so well also. Look at Kacha again. You know, keeping the ball alive. The Asis throws up a wild one, though. It's this battle between Kacha and Later off the boards. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, but UP is really slackened in their offense here in the fourth period. Yun lang talaga. Go back. Ital. Bumping. Epress away. Ital setting up Arau. Arau bothered, clobbered, and three seconds. That's the right oh. call. And again, that play was because of Galen Kacha. You know, Ara was forced to put down the ball because of the tap made by uh, Glenn Kacha, Galen Kacha from behind. Doug Kramer now dispatched. He will come in in the next possession or in the next dead ball situation. 17 on the 24 for the UP Maroons. Woodward goal. Closer shot. Higher percentage. Got to start somewhere slowly, but UP's got to make some stops here. Well, we just heard the... Uh, the news of Marvin Cruz, it's a coach's decision. Pinapahinga lamang. Mm -hmm. And babalik yan, maya maya. Sigurado yan. Intal muna, offensive foul. Yep. Great. That's a good help there by uh, Woody Cole. Second personal on JC Intal, who has stayed away from fouls today. As we go to Gretchen Polito for this report. 
UB playing without Captain Nestor to it is definitely a big loss on the side of the UB fighting rules, but all is not over yet. Coach Jody Pastras, you have to work together here in the fourth quarter. Now, we'll be able to see Marvin Cruz in a short while, uh, but to be able to get back in this game, Coach Joe added the Maroons have to make sure they nail their shots and they have to work under the basket and not give Ateneo easy second chance points. Boom, back to you. Thank you very much, Gretchen. There's still a lot of time. That's five minutes remaining. And the lead is 11 for Ateneo. Mix the asses. The double team on him. They kick it out to Vic Mel. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. Hey, yeah. These are important yeah. baskets put up by UP. Getting some confidence. The lead is down to nine. Doug Kramer back in the ball game. Beauty Escueta finding Kramer. Kramer puts it up and in. Kramer. Again and again and again. Just waiting for that uh, pass and the short stab for uh, Doug Kramer. Escueta is taking up from where Maki Escalona uh -huh. left off. Making Doug Kramer really look good inside. Vic Mel puts on the move on JC and Talon draws his third personal foul. Actually, nowhere to go there for Vic Mel impressed. Foul given up. Look at this pass. Time and again, oh, we've that's seen this catch of Doug Kramer. And you know, in the last two years, Doug Kramer has really improved his hold on that basketball. Remember, he was criticized back two, three years ago as being butter fingers every time he has that ball underneath. But the last two years, that's why his percentage has also climbed, is that he has had a great grip on that ball now. It was 8.22 in the fourth quarter when the start of it fouled out. That's where Ateneo kind of made their mini run to extend the lead at 11. And now UP trying to draw closer now. Coach Jolipa wants to keep his record unblemished here in 69th season of the UAB. Tap one again by Katsha. Boy, this kid, you know, he sees stuff. And he's got springs. Oh, yeah. They're showing the kids here, like Katja, the Asis, even Lotter, who is not Lotter, anymore Salamat. a rookie. Salamat, they're now, showing. Now, Escueta given the opportunity to shine for Ateneo. They're really showing that they can compete at this level, in this atmosphere, in this arena, in this energy-filled Ninoy Aquino Stadium. Well, Ateneo goes back to its starting lineup now. And Chris Chu is there. Yes. Oh, Tama Maki is back playing on borrowed time. And he will be the one covering Mix Diasis. Marvin Cruz is also back. Ball fake from Marvin. And Al Husaini this time taking it. Ateneo will slow things down. They have the advantage. They're in the lead by 10. 11 on the 24, Doug Kramer again uh, finds the bottom of the net. Doug Kramer with 20 points in the ball game. And the you know, fourth thing about this is Al Husseini will be called for a technical. Unsportsmanlike foul given up by Al Husseini. Coach Norman Black doesn't understand it. But the technical, nevertheless, is called. And the reason for this reaction, not, it's not really that he was against the ball, but he doesn't like the timing. Look at the clock. Look where we are right now. And Kacha. Horrible shooting. You know, it's really something, it's really mental, I think, on the part of Kacha. Oh, yeah. He has not made a single free throw in this game. Zero out of eight. But again, you know, I feel for the guy because he has really worked his butt off here in this game. The ass is tentative, but oh. shoots it anyway. He's not gonna give up. No. You see how he paused for and a second? What's cru crucial there is Mas Maki Escalona is taking on Mix the ass. Uh -huh. He's got four fouls. He's not gonna get close to me. Mix the ass is 14 points. In his second game, oh, that's a great pass. Hussaini just could not finish. UP is on the run. The assist. Oh, what oh. a block by Mackey. What a block. He saw it coming. 
In the meantime, Ateneo's on the run on the other side. A teardrop oh, and a, a foul, foul by Galen Kacha. He's more, he's very frustrated. It started with that defensive job by Escalona. When first, let's look at this three. He paused for a while, but the Asis still put it up. And in for the three, the Asis with four triples across his name for a total of 14 points. Galen Kacha gets the applause from the UP side because he has toiled here in the Nino Aquino Stadium. Oh, for days, yesterday. Yeah, I'm ashamed of myself. I was, I had a really long chat with Chris Chu earlier, <laughs> and I didn't even greet him. Happy birthday to him, Zion Latter on the bench. You know, UP has played two games, and both their opponents have scored in the 90s. That's right. The winning game against UST, they allowed you to score 92. Right now, Atene has already scored 90. Oh. Great passing by UP, but also great recovery on defense by Ateneo, making it hard for Ira Buico on that circus shot. Doug Kramer. Now he is 8 out of 11 from the field. Still not that bad. Miss. Oh, not <laughs> bad at all. Mackey goes to his left. Mackey goes up and draws the foul from Woody Cole. Probably thinking, hey, Less than three minutes remaining. I better make my move. I can't just wait for me to get another foul. At saka inataki rin niya si Marvin. Eh, pareho tayong apat ang foul. Parehas lang naman yun eh. So, one is to one. I have the leather. May konting... It's you who's gonna guess what's gonna happen next. May konting advantage as Virgili Serios coming in, replacing Vic Mel. And press, what about the coaching here, Andy, and the way they have substituted here in this game? You know, for Coach Norman Black, we were worried about the uh, holdover guys that he had in the last three minutes of the third quarter. And Eric Salamat, thanks to you, man, for, uh, for Ateneo. Well, what about Eric Salamat? It's 12 points, 3 out of 4 from the field, 6 out of 6 from the free throw line. Against NU only had 2 points in that ball game. Yeah. 2 points in that ball game. And he was really made to take charge when uh, Maki Escalono was in the bench with uh, 4 fouls. Marvin Cruz oh, gets Marvin it to go! Not giving up. Oh, it ain't over. Definite la definitely not. 2.17 to play. 91-82. Arau, a little bit off his range. A little more muscle on that shot. Let's see what Marvin's gonna do. Oh, that's a foul by Chris Chu. Who made sure there's no three-point play opportunity. Marvin did not appreciate the gesture. Oh, but that's going to be two free throws. Uh, is that a penalty situation for Ateneo? Second personal, 60 fouls. Let's look at this three-point shot by Marvin Cruz. Marvin Cruz, 23 points and two triples. A three-point shot brought to us by Sun Cellular. Better network, better value. We have a timeout on the floor. Well, I think we all need one. We'll be back. Welcome back to the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. On Thursday, action resumes with Adamson facing Ateneo in the first game and FEU going up against USD in the main game. That's all live on Studio 23. Well, you know, UP called its last timeout already, Randy, at the 2.02 mark. It's all up to them now to finish the game. Another story here is free throws. Glad for Marvin Cruz, he made his first free throw. Galen Kacha missed eight free throws today. Marvin Cruz has missed some crucial free throws when they were about to overtake Ateneo in the third. Six out of nine, make that seven out of 10 for 70%. Marvin Cruz, wow. Ateneo, two more minutes to play. Holding on to a seven point lead. Arau goes to the other side and Maki Escalona again same making play. it happen. Same play. Same play happening in Maki Escalona within another assist. Ninth assist of the game, Randy, for Maki Escalona. And another turnover by Aida Buigo and the UP Maroons. Letting this game slip away now at 1.41 to play. You gotta play defense still. You gotta make some stops. Maki inside. 
Again to Aro. Aro making space for himself and a push there. There's so many, so much pushing going on underneath. I don't know who the foul could be on be Kramer. On. Could be on Kramer. He's the lone guy in white. The Kramer. And uh, UP is over the limit. Three personal fouls for Doug Kramer. Norman Black. Last minute instructions. To Ford Otto. Marvin Cruz again. Going back to the 15th parallel line. Uh, time not on the side of the fighting Maroons. They cannot just exchange baskets with Ateneo. A minute and 32. Yes, they're going to the free throw line, but they better make a stop. That is the 11th free throw of Marvin Cruz. He is 8 out of 11. Makes that 9 out of 12 for 27 big points for Marvelous Marvin. And again, the press break working well for Ateneo. Doug Kramer for the extension. Well, I'm gamely in that shot. Not his shot, really. Deasis misses. Marvin takes the ball back. Oh, but Yuri Escueta takes it from everybody else, and Marvin will fall out of this ball game. And with him is the game of UP. Probably the chances also for the Maroons. Oh, check that. That's only the fourth foul of. Uh... Oh, it's a fourth personal foul, Marvin Cruz. Whoa. So he stays in the game. But again, time a minute and nine seconds. Two free throws for Ateneo. This guy also gets some uh, some salute for today, uh, Yuri Escueta. Our apologies for that. It is only the fourth mm. personal foul. We all we we, we thought he was fourth. Uh, Marvin has been playing with four personal fouls, so buhay pa, mi buhay pa. Flat lining, but it's still kicking for UP, especially with that Escueta miss. Oh, two free and throws. That's a foul on uh, oh, JC and, and Tal, and two free throws. That would be free throws, and that's to the liking of UP because time will not move. And don't, Coach Norman is saying, why give up the foul? It's a two possession ball game still at seven point advantage. And chance for it to be cut down to five with two free throws here for UP, which has been a problem for UP except for Marvin Cruz. When you are at five with 109, Anything now can happen. And Coach Norman Black sends in Eric Salamat for JC and Tal. Let me see. Uh, for Adal, rather. JC and Tal talking to Coach Norman. JC was the one who committed the foul. Let's see what Serios can do from the 15th parallel. He misses that one. Yeah. It's been deserting UP when they wanted it most the free throws. First free throw attempt. Nestor David can only watch in agony right now as Serios makes it one out of two and a six point lead for Ateneo. Salamat is nudged by Serios. He now will be tested his free throw. That's number five. Coach Jolipa is already at the technical official. And look at him bringing down the five <laughs> fouls of the card. The card for signaling five fouls. But I think he's taking it in jest, you know. Oh. They put up a good fight here. Well, there's still 106 remaining. Yes, and uh, going to his, uh, probably his most courageous guy in the paint. Galen Kacha, who's gotten his rest. But what about Ateneo? With 43 free throws in this game, making 34. Mm. This guy was six out of six before this one, so seven out of seven. While UP, 15 out of 29, 14 misses. Oh, this guy, Aron San Sebastian, is really a fine for Ateneo. Eight out of eight, steady hand for Eric Salamat in only his second game for the Blue Eagles. Marvin Cruz still fighting. Marvin and a delay a game will be called on Cruz. Not giving up, not giving up. A minute remaining. It's a six point lead. Coach Jody <laughs> Pai is already in the middle of the floor. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to point out. Look at him. Go to your heart, man. 
Oh, Marvin Cruz was called for a foul or a technical because of the delay of game. And again, a technical is a personal foul, right? Randy, yes, correct? yes, correct that's, that, that is wrong. right. That is right. So, so Marvin Joe, Cruz is out. Yes, that, that's the bad thing about that uh, delay of game call by the referee. Two free throws. So now it's official. Bruce leaves the game because of five fouls. The last one because of a technical of a delay of game, which was really a correct call, mm -hmm. the delay of game, because we saw it earlier after the shot. Doug Kramer had the ball. Yes. He tapped it away. And the steadiest of all hands, the rookie. And nine out of nine from the free throw. Ten out of ten. You know, what an irony if uh, UP lose this game. The first loss of Coach Joe after returning to the UAAP will be courtesy of his former team, the Ateneo de Manila University. Excellent point. 16 points for Eric Salamat. Escueta looking for a receiver and he finds Ital. Ateneo has 19 seconds to work with in their shot clock. Under a minute remaining in this game. Mackie eluding two UP Maroons. Salamat doesn't force the shot. He goes back and pulls up. That's nothing. And Katcha again coming up with a rebound. So thank you to Studio 23 for the additional airtime that they're giving us as we close this ball game between Ateneo and UP. Woody Cole driving and Salama takes it away. Uh, really in a quagmire with UP. There was no Marvin Cruz to take control. And Salama is delivering the goods. And two more free throws awaiting Eric. Uh, Eric Salamat. Gotta give it two to this guy. For Eric Salamat. 16 points. 10 out of 10 from the line. And the steal to boot to pretty much seal this victory. Although he missed on that one. It will no longer be significant in the game, that miss of Eric Salamat. It is now up to a nine-point lead with 17.4 seconds. And if Ateneo holds on, they will join UE at 2 and 0 here in the 69th season of the UAP, Randy. Yes, and uh, Kramer sits down. They give him the rest and the, the, applause. the applause from the, uh, the chance for the Ateneo faithfuls to applaud the efforts of Doug Kramer who is 8 out of 12 from the field today. And what an effort, what a total team effort mm -hmm. for Ateneo. While the UP only its first UP defeat, Maroon, but you can see the that their rookies and their utility man, Randy, have a lot to show in this season 69. I love the way Katsa played, the Asis, Serios. Martin Reyes didn't find his stroke today, but they go down and defeat against Sateneo, 98-89. And now, it's time for our Gillette Vector Plus breakout performance. And it is an obvious choice for both of us, uh, Randy, the guy who sealed the victory via the free throw line. And he also played steady from the field. We're talking about Eric Salamat. Stepped up his game with Gillette and step up your game with Gillette Vector Plus. Look good, play even better. Look at that, two points the last time against NU, but the big game against UP. 17 points, 11 of 12 free throws, two rebounds, and two steals. Forced the fifth personal foul on a store of it. That's a, that's a big one. That's a big pitch that he caught. Huge, huge for Ateneo. All right, let's go to our. Yes, Bank Maasan, player of the game. Randy, your choice. Well, I gave, give it to Kramer. Could have given it to uh, Maki Escalona, but Kramer, you can't complete the pass without a basket. 8 of 12 feet uh, field goal shooting. The baskets were there. The advantage was emphasized because of Doug Kramer imposing his will and his numbers. Excellent point, Randy. Talagang Maasan. Doug Kramer, tulad ng DS Bank. And as we have been announcing, our Thursday lineup will be another set of exciting ball games here at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. Adamson versus Ateneo on the first game. UST coming back. We'll go up against 
FEU, both teams losing their first assignments. And that will do it for us here in the UAB today. For Gretchen Fulido and Leah Cruz and my partner Andy Sakdalan, have a safe flight, my friend. Thank you. I'm Boom Gonzalez. Ateneo is 2-0 at the start of Season 69 of the UAAP. We'll see you next time here on Studio 23. Good night.